we get it all set up for, for Johnny Depp. Now, I'm very, very nervous um, because I know he is a huge wine lover. And I don't know much about wine. <laughs> um, but I have to pretend that I do. So I do a little research right before he arrives, and then he arrives like that, and there he is, comes into the presidential suite. We small talk a little bit, really cool, and he, I go to him, um, what would you like to drink? He's thinking about it, and I knew that it perked his interest, and then I said to him, how about a 68 Marco? Stop for a second, he just, 68 Marco. <laughs> Exist a 68 Marco. So I get this decanter, this boss looking thing, this huge thing, and my plan was to get this bottle open, pour it into the decanter, let it breathe for a little bit, everything will be fine. However, I just first gotta get this thing open. <laughs> Out of the bottle, it shouldn't be hard, but truth be told, I've never had to coddle the cork out of a bottle that's something like a hundred years old. <laughs> Get the cork out of a bottle, try to relax, try not to sweat. My heart is in full throttle, it's Johnny's favorite bottle. This moment is as big as big can get. Oh God, the cork is crumbling into a thousand pieces oh god this can't be happening this is where my heartbeat seizes i'm the cork stuck in this bottle i complicate the simplest things like the first time i went skiing a normal human being would get right on the cable car even if it swings but me i start to buckle panic turns to dread my brother starts to chuckle i slip and fall the cable car clunks me on the head Get the cork out the bottle. Mission complete. Just about. Just pull it nice and easy. I feel a little queasy. Wait, I got a sucker out. Oh, God, this can't be happening. Half the cork is still inside there. Oh, God, come down and shoot me. You're shrinking down to size so I can go hide there. The world is full of problems. I just Respect me or look at me the same. Will he always see me as the loser with no name?